and welcome to my 28 week bump date. I am so excited. This is the last week of our seventh month. So next week I'll be eight months pregnant. I can't believe it. Um, week 28 has been absolutely crazy. There have been so many things going on just um, with the pregnancy, new symptoms, new old symptoms coming back, all kinds of stuff. So um, at 28 weeks and two days, my husband and I actually ended up going to OB screening. Um, and the reason we did this is because the baby has been doing this really weird kind of whole body shaking kind of feeling inside of me. And it was happening so much that I was starting to get concerned. I thought, you know, I didn't know what to think. He could have been having seizures. He could have been stuck in the cord. I just, I just didn't know. Um, but it was concerning enough that we did end up going to OB screening. While at OB screening, they hooked me up to the monitors and um, they tracked a couple of contractions. Nothing too major. Um, they did catch his shaking on the paper that prints out of his kind of motions and stuff, uh, which was kind of, kind of cool. But they don't know exactly what the shaking is. She said she's not worried about it, but it's definitely not um, a normal thing that they do. It's just not that heard of. So they're not worried at this point. Um, they did also end up doing a pelvic exam at the OB screening because I had mentioned to them that I've been having contractions. And several times now they've gone for several hours at roughly six minutes apart a piece and um, so they did a pelvic exam my cervix is closed and whatever fluid that I've been noticing leaking you know for a few weeks now hat is just a normal amount of vaginal discharge I guess in the third trimester it picks up so everything was looking good there um, so now I'm gonna go into symptoms because there's a lot of them the first symptom that I've been having is vaginal pain. Now it doesn't, it's not a pain like when you fall and hurt yourself or something like that. It's more just pressure. It's a, a lot, a lot, a lot of pressure. Um, it's, it kind of feels like I'm walking around with a bag of flour between my legs or something. And so it's really uncomfortable. Um, and the other thing with the vaginal pain is that I've been getting kind of like a lightning shock feeling down there. I did mention this to the doctor and I said it's nothing to worry about, it's just normal. And um, I, I also mentioned to the fact that if something touches my belly button, I get the lightning zings also. So if I'm, you know, putting lotion on or anything like that, washing my stomach area, it get, I, get, I get lightning zings when I touch my belly button. The next one is swelling. I have been swelling for quite a while now, but it's, I'm swollen all the time now. It's constant. I wake up swollen. I go to bed swollen. I'm swollen throughout the day. My hands, I don't know if you can see them, I'll go this way, are very swollen. Um, my face hasn't swelled yet, so I don't think they're too worried about it and my blood pressure is low, but just my body likes to swell. The next one is frequent urination. Now, supposedly you're supposed to have frequent urination in the first trimester and then it comes back in the third trimester. Because of the way that my uterus was sitting in my body, I escaped the first trimester pretty much just going to the bathroom as I had pre-pregnancy. About the middle of the second trimester it picked up but now I literally feel like I'm on the toilet every 10 minutes. It's so ridiculous. I can get up maybe five or six times a night to go to the bathroom and I just I should just sit on the toilet all day long I feel like because I'm always there. Um, the next one is gas, and this one is kind of embarrassing, but I pass gas a lot, and when I do, it's not, 
like a silent little toot. It's like somebody blew a trucker horn kind of farts. Um, and the weird thing is with them is that I don't really eat any gassy foods and they usually come on at the end of the night when the baby's really active. So um, mostly right before bed it, it's <laughs> and it gets really bad in there. Um, another thing that happened this week is my boobs have grown a ton and I went out and I purchased some maternity bras. Um, now, I do know that in the 28th week, the baby's adrenal glands start producing, I believe it's their adrenal glands, start producing their own hormones, signaling my body that it needs to start producing milk. Um, but I've noticed this week that my breasts are very hard and that they're a lot larger than they were even just the week before so much so that I did end up going to get some new bras. I, I opted to get the nursing bras at this point I just got some small ones because they fit me currently pretty well. They're a little loose sometimes but um, it's not too bad and then I know that when my milk does come in they will adequately grow enough with what I have currently. So I'm not too worried about um, growing out of the nursing bras at this point in time, but they're so much comfier than the other bras that I was wearing. So I'm glad that I did that purchase. The next symptom that I've had is Charlie horses, and I don't actually get them in my calves. I actually get them in the first and second toe on my right foot, which is the toes leading off of that neuroma in my foot and um, my toes will actually like if this was my foot my toe will actually kind of like bend itself down like this and then get stuck there and won't be able to move it um, so my husband's had to kind of work them out a couple times it's happened three times now and I don't anticipate that going anywhere anytime soon but at least I don't get them in my my calves at least not yet so that's good. The next symptom is insomnia. I cannot sleep at all. I fall asleep well after midnight every single night and I'm up between five and six every single morning. And um, I know a lot of people in my regular daily life, that's their normal sleep cycles, but I am the kind of girl that's used to going to bed at about nine o'clock at night and not getting up until eight o'clock the next morning. So going, falling asleep, you know, close to one o'clock in the morning, getting up several times a night to go to the bathroom, and then waking up fully by six o'clock in the morning is just not feeling good at this point. And I know when the baby comes, I will be up, you know, constantly and feeding him and changing him and all that stuff, but I'd like to get my sleep now. It just isn't happening. The next symptom is heartburn. It's not even a typical heartburn either and it's so weird all of my symptoms are not just what they sound like my heartburn is just more pressure in my chest and it usually goes away if I eat a couple of Tums um, I don't even actually eat Tums I use the Walmart version antacids because they taste better and they're less chalky but um, it takes you know two or three of those little tablets to kinda get it under control so that's a fun one. So when I was talking about my breasts, I did not mention this one, but the next one is nipple sensitivity. My right nipple is the one that's kind of flat. It is starting to pick up in in the amount of sensation that it feels. And the other one, the left one, is way more sensitive than it ever was before. Um, it literally feels like anything that touches them is sandpaper at this point. I know it's not, but um, that's just kind of what it feels like. So I would assume that they're prepping themselves for my milk to come in. The next one is back pain. I don't know if it's the weight of my stomach at this point or if it's um, just the way that I'm walking my gait, but my lower back has been killing me. And it's really kind of centralized right above 
like my tailbone area kind of so I'm wondering if it doesn't have anything to do with that fracture in my back as well but the back pain is really starting to bother me quite a bit um, I don't know what to do about it so I'm gonna go visit the back doctor but back pain has definitely been a major factor this week and the last thing is hunger I have literally a bottomless pit for a stomach right now and I it's it's so funny because I've never really wanted to eat anything this entire pregnancy but this week and last week I have been starving I feel like I haven't eaten anything at all so um, you know maybe the baby's just going through a, a big growth spurt and needing more things right now I don't quite know but all I know is that I am hungry um, the things that I am hungry for are cereal. Pretty much it alternates between Lucky Charms and Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I know that both of them are actually like packed full of sugar, which is fine because I passed my glucose test. But um, they also have a lot of vitamins and minerals that um, I need. And since I'm not taking a prenatal vitamin, it's you know kind of supplementing what I should be taking via a vitamin. Um, and then the other thing that I'm craving a lot are peach smoothies, which is something that my mom used to make when we were kids. And what she would do is freeze a can of peaches, open it up, put it in the blender, and then blend it with some milk. And I have one of those every single night before, before I go to bed. So um, between those two things, I, I keep pretty full between cereal and the peach ice cream kind of stuff. But I'm still just so hungry, and I, I still don't want any meat. Like, no protein just doesn't sound good. It doesn't taste good. So I don't know. But we'll figure it out. But that's okay. Um, this week I have also been working on my birth plan, and if you go to my blog at eventualmama.wordpress.com. You can actually take a look. We have three birth plans. We have the a visual birth plan with just icons so that doctors and nurses can quickly look at the birth plan and know what our wishes are. I then have a more detailed vaginal birth plan and then I have a birth plan for if, if we need a c-section. Um, and I didn't actually call them birth plans or birth preferences because I do know that in labor and delivery nothing is going to go exactly the way that I want it to and um, I just want my wishes known in the event that I cannot advocate for myself so um, we do have those up on the blog right now okay so let me talk about my weight for a minute and my waist um, I weighed in this morning at 125.4 pounds which is up 1.2 pounds from last week so not a huge difference which is pretty good and um, it's a total of 23.8 pounds overall this entire pregnancy so I'm right on track um, if I gain a pound a week to hit between 30 and 35 pounds by the time that we deliver so I'm right where I need to be as far as weight gain goes the one thing that I have noticed though in the past couple weeks is that my stomach hasn't really grown in size that much. I went from a 39 to 39 and a half in two weeks and then another quarter of an inch this week. So my stomach isn't really growing all that much. Um, but I know I'm gaining weight so it's got to be going somewhere. So. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a belly shot here. And I will see you guys next week for my 29-week update. Talk to you later. Bye.